So we find ourselves somewhere we never thought in a million years we would be. But you know, you never know where life's gonna take you. And this week is gonna be so much fun. Oh, what a we, day. We brought you to the Winnebago side. Yes, yes. And I, we are here at the Grand National Rally for Winnebago. That's right. Who knew a bunch of Tiffin owners would end up in a Would you like a ride to the first timers event? Oh, look, we get a ride. Well, yes, thank you so it. much. We'll hop right on back. All right. Let's look at that. It. And they're picking us up. Talk about wooing us. <laughs> Woohoo. Thank All you right. so much. Yes, sir. Yeah. And it's a scorcher out today, that's for sure. It is really hot. So we get a ride down to the newbie. What first timers. First timers panel, I think is what they're calling it. So yeah, all the green lanyards like this one signifies this is our first time here. So we're going to get a little briefing on what's going to happen this week. You think they're going to tell all the secrets? I hope so. Well, we're definitely going to show them all. <laughs> yeah. Get ready because you're going to want to see what Phil's going to be wearing. Fit one more on here. Somebody else wants to ride on yeah, here. Yeah, we're all together. Well, I can come back and get the other three. We can hop off if y'all want to get on. Welcome, Ooh. welcome. We are ready to have some fun. Thank you so much. Words of wisdom while you're here this week is don't be like me. Don't be shy. Go out, meet your neighbor, say hello to them because these are people that when you return, you're going to see again. It's so yummy! <laughs> you and I, and I have two. Oh, you have two? Why? Because <laughs> you're not eating yours. I have two, too. I don't know how that happens. <laughs> Just because. That's right. It's nice and cold. Because it is still freaking hot out. We survived our first day at the rally. And I got to tell you, the energy here is something else. Everybody is so happy. They're upbeat. I mean, it's like one giant party with, what, almost 900 of your friends. Yes, yeah, new friends. <laughs> That's right. And we had so many people come up to us and say, what are you doing what are you here? Doing Where here? is your tiffin? Yeah. How, <laughs> so did you, how did you get in here? How'd they let you in? <laughs> I told them we covered up all our, our logos on our rig and put a W on the back. Tape. And they were like, really? Said, no, they wouldn't let us. <laughs> So it was really fun. So I am looking forward to, actually, I'm looking forward to disco night. So you yeah. guys stay tuned for disco night. You are not going to believe what's going to happen. <laughs> I think that's Tuesday, right? Tuesday night. Yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah. just wait. It's going to be so fun. It is day two here at the rally and we are going to do a little activity that my daughter is dying over because it is her favorite thing to do. And that is tie dye. Pinch in the middle uh -huh. and then twist it around. It does like a spiral thing cool. and then you can put the rubber bands like this across the circle okay and then fill in the triangles or the other way that's really fun is to just like go like this uh -huh. and then you can just put color like in these clumps and uh -huh. then it's kind of just like a splotchy okay all right here we go I think it looks let's great. see what happens i know it's always kind of nerve-wracking like, how's it gonna turn out i'm a little yeah, uptight for all this her. free form stuff <laughs> Right? It's too, leaving too much to chance. Yes. It's like actual camp. There's all these fun activities we get to do. I don't know how much to saturate. All right, let me go switch for the red. You can see I don't know what I'm doing. All right, here we go. Let's see if this turns out and see if it's worth wearing later on. After you finish your tie-dye, you get a bag. You put it in a plastic bag because you don't want it to dry too soon. You want it to stay wet. So it will continue to absorb into the fabric. So, so here we go. Ooh, it's really white in the back. I didn't do the back. My back's all white. I got this work is not done. Now we have both sides, so I think we're all set. So let's go throw it in the Ziploc bag and go let it sit for the day. Enjoy. Thank you. And let's go check up on Howard and Caitlin because Howard is finishing his tie-dye. Caitlin already finished her shirt. Now that looks like experience to me. 
I don't want to lose this patient. <laughs> I am interrupting Cap Winnebago to bring you Camp Margaritaville because we are here right now getting ready for the RV Unplugged rally and I'm dying to know who do you think is going to win, me or Phil. Camp Margaritaville is a nice campground and I really do like it here, but sometimes I am looking for something that everybody doesn't know about. I'm looking for something unique off the beaten path and something beautiful. And if you're looking for that too, RV Destinations can help you find it. RV Destinations is hands down my favorite magazine. I'm always waiting for the next issue to arrive. It always gives me some fresh ideas and fresh perspectives of places for us to go. I'm telling you, if you've ever asked yourself, where do I go next? Where is our next favorite place? Then RV Destinations is the magazine for you. The great thing about RV Destinations magazine is you can get a handheld copy just like I have or you can have it sent straight to your inbox so you can digitally download it and have access to it anywhere. You can also choose to have access to all the old editions if you like. And if you're looking for somewhere to go, those old editions will definitely help you get there. We're being asked all the time how we find the coolest locations. Well, RV Destinations Magazine is one of our tools. So sign up today and use our code to save on your subscription. Now let's get back to Camp Winnebago. It's finally time for some fun and games around here. We have walked away from work and we are about to get our disco on. I think yeah. it's time. We should, be, we should be blaring some, some I know, you know, I like a boom too. box yeah. of some kind, yeah. although it might be the wrong decade. We did not win the costume competition, but that's all right because we are really about to win because what they do here during the rally is each row actually puts on like, I don't even know what you want to call it, a little celebration. They have food and drink and it's really a party row by row. We were told the best place to go is to Louisiana. It's a whole section with all of Louisiana folks so they have jambalaya homemade so that's the first place we're headed because apparently it goes fast yeah stacy's gonna, gonna go get her cajun on hopefully if it's not already gone they said last time it was gone in minutes i hear this is really good all right thank you so much it's good where's the band I there see that. Is. Very good. Very glamorous. Show up a few peace signs. Peace. We're, we're, we're racing for peace. Racing for peace. Oh, oh, look at the picture. Oh, 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 oh. That that really looked funny. Actually, <laughs> like you were going for his man boobs. <laughs> Baseball. Okay, Thank you so much. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, look at the. Oh, did the disco ball <laughs> is the best. Baseball. Baseball. The meatballs. Mm. Thumbs up. That's right. Thank you, sir. God bless Texas. Thank you. You two are beautiful. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Spam. 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 Oh, yeah. I'm like, here's my sandwich. All right, I need to know what you think. Have you had it before? No, Spam, I haven't. First time. We had it in Hawaii at McDonald's. Oh, I love that. Mm, it's oh, actually really it's good. It's a total thing there. Oh, mm -hmm. So good. Mmm. Those were the best days of my life. That part we know, baby. <laughs> Back in the summer of 69 We gon' slip on down To the oasis, no, I got friends 
in love places. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, oh, hey, Elton John. Yeah. Oh, it is oh, it's a little Elton John. Yeah. <laughs> it does. Come on, come on. It totally does. Come here. No, you need to go over there with her. The lighting's oh, better. Oh, the lighting's better over here. <laughs> <laughs> Swapping dudes. Nice. Last week, our friends Howard and Caitlin, who we are hanging out with for the next few weeks, did this awesome shout out to us in their video. They <laughs> talked about who we were, what we were doing, and mostly they highlighted all of our veteran fundraiser that you guys have worked so hard to build up. And look at what we did for them. So wait till you see these bad boys. <laughs> Classics. Oh man, they are old school redone um i just i don't know i just love them yeah hi there hi can we come in welcome absolutely you i've been dying in. to see these are you kidding oh my goodness so this is a restored 1972 d24 that's a okay. dodge chassis in 24 foot okay it has the rear bath option which means there's a bathroom with a uh, tub and shower on one side okay a in the middle and then there's a double closet on the other side some options that this had that are pretty popular. This is called the buddy seat. Yep. It was designed mm -hmm. to fit two people. And the question spins around, so you see out the windshield. Yes. Um, it had two bunks were offered as an option, but whoever ordered this one just put one bunk on one side, which is now very heavily out of the storage. And then those two couches come together in the center for a bed across. If oh, okay, choose. okay. We love this uh, drop down because there's a window on each end and the breeze just comes right. Yes, perfect. Yeah. So Sarah and I bought this in March of 2018. We rented our house out in March of 2018 and we have not been back. Oh my Get gosh! Oh, I can't believe, I can't you. believe you're here! <laughs> oh my Yay. god! Oh my gosh, we just we hit just one. We're about to hit one. the other so one. Now, okay. So he, this it's one's so been cool. redone. This one has not. So we're going to go and do the This compare. one's been in the same yeah. families. Hi, how are Hi. you? Hi. Yeah, so is this okay one. Is it okay if we come in? Yeah, is, go ahead. Is we are so excited. Original. Well, close. Wow. Okay. The, the cushions on the. Yeah, it, and it'll. A few little things, a microwave sitting on top. It didn't come with a microwave. Okay. Everything else is original. Everything else? Everything Wow. This is so cool, what year? right? The stove, the refrigerator. What year is this one? 73. 73. 73. Yep. This wow. comes down, it's scissors. Nice down. little bed. Yeah. Yep. Wow. So they had the drop bunk in 73, or that's an addition? No, they had this in 73. Wow. Yeah, it's a pull, it's a pull that's pan. It's a sleeping bunk, but we use it for our storage. Oh, wow. The bunk. When I was way. a kid, when my mom and dad first got in the young, that's guy, where you were. I slept up there. Okay, there you Opened go. up the two wing windows and you got a breeze through there. And wow. So I everything works. This is original everything. AC from 72. Original 73? AC, original wow. stove, okay. original refrigerator. It never had TV. Well, we can oh, watch yeah. TV in bed. There used to be a magazine rack back there. If you can swing oh, it out, you yeah. can sit oh, or okay. sleep up there and yeah. watch TV. And we've also had it in car cruises too with the family all get in, fill the fridge full of popping beer and Off the nephews go. just went wild. They'd stay until the beer was gone and then they'd leave. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's it. That's all we did. <laughs> yeah. That is Howard and Caitlin. That's yeah, and then we gave them a fuzzy screenshot out the window of their rig of next Scout. to us. Yeah, and Scout was in the window, but that was it. Well, when you're a former news reporter and a TV producer, you know how to do things professionally. Us, on the other hand, not so much. So let's do our poor man's attempt yeah. at a shout out to them. <laughs> yeah, let's, <laughs> let's see if we can nail it. So as many of you may know that Howard and Caitlin were on season one of RV Unplugged on my team. That's how we met. And we formed a great relationship and friendship from the show. If you are looking for national parks, they have hit almost every national park and they have amazing information about each one. So before you hit your next national park, make sure you head, head over to their channel, which is New State Nomads, and you will get everything you need to know about that national park. Their destination videos make you feel like you're already there. And you know, we don't really want to compare ourselves to theirs too much <laughs> because they outshine us hands down but i gotta tell you we have way more bloopers in ours so yeah. you know so you you get what you come for yeah let's see some bloopers there new states since this rally started there are three rigs that i have been dying to check out and what do you know right now there's an open house it's time for the rv family feud 100 winnebago employees surveyed you're trying to get the most popular answer name a public place where it is okay to yell 
Ballpark. The campground. The campground. Nominate someone else on your team. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Same question. Name, name a place where it is okay to yell. Concert. Sporting event. Sporting event. Sporting event. Survey says. Do it. Number one. <laughs> name something both a detective and a camper use. The bathroom. Besides a canoe, name something people pack for a canoe trip. Like pedals. Pedals. Yeah. Oh, one answer will beat that. A life jacket. If one's going to beat it, I think that might be it. Now, the winner of this is going to go up against the Winnie Bees, right? So, this is it. This is the big one. Name a place where you might see a porta potty. A porta potty at a campground. Name a place where you might see a porta potty. At a concert. was the most fun we've had in a long time. And I can't believe we made it on stage. Yeah, we got bailed out quite a few times and Lisa started us off bailing us out. Without her getting the correct answer first, we wouldn't have made it anywhere. And yes, Lisa was, was on our team and then her husband's name was? Jim. Jim. And yep. we also want to give a shout out to James who was the host, he played Richard Dawson. And I have to say, <laughs> did. his suit was spot on and he was amazing. It looked like he borrowed that suit from Richard Dawson. It was the same color that Richard <laughs> used to wear, that light bluish yes, gray. Yes. So he was spot on with that. All right, so Camp Winnebago was a blast. Thanks again to Winnebago. Keep watching so you can see all the cute, cool features of this 24T. They're also cute because you started to say cute. But yes, <laughs> we have many things in store for you. So. Hang around. We're hoping that we, we kill it in this little bitty space. We can